Hi guys, it's me. Uh, today I will be teaching the B flat scale on flute. My flute is not in tune because I lost the top. <laughs> and I don't know where it went. Like I just lost it. I have no clue where it went off. I played right before for practice and then it just flipped in somewhere. It's horrible. Um but yeah, basically. Um B flat. There's different variations of it. And you really just need to ask your director or if you're learning by yourself, go ahead. Do whatever you like best. But first first key back key and this one. There's three. You want this one. So you're gonna hold those down. Oh, and pinky. The only time you take your, your pinky off is if you're playing D. And you will play D. Uh, in a scale. So. That sounds really weird. Alright. So that's the preferred version of B flat. Um, there's also the easy one that I usually use. Shouldn't, but I got used to it, sadly. Um, which is, well, first key, and here's this one, but you press this, like you hold both of them, and pinky. Either way, it's good, but it works. Um, next is one of the most easiest notes. First key, pinky, no back. Like, do not hold that. So, B flat, C, Do, Re. I have horrible singing, sorry. Alright, now D. Um, hold it like you would, but you take this one off. Back, so it's these two, one skip these two and the first one yeah and all these three no pinky that's a d uh -huh. um. all right now e flat very easy because it comes right off your d all you do put your pinky down switch to F, which is first three. Make sure that you don't hold this one down. This one automatically goes down. So it's like one, two, three, and then back. And then you're going to put the first one down like you would for a B flat and pinky. No. Now for a G, take this finger off. For an A, you take this finger off. Sorry, I need to pull out a little bit. And then you go back to B flat. And now you go down. So. Practice that over and over and over and over, because that's pretty much the main scale for flutes. Um, don't lose the top like I did, because I'm stupid. And get your pads redone often, like every two years probably. I just got my pads redone, and I need to get a new one on this. Um, it helps if you have your flute right. So this middle bar goes through that, and then your head joint should be parallel to the rest of your foot. Like you should be able to look from the hole and look straight down, and it all line up. It's much more comfortable. 
and water here. If your flute is a little bit sharp, pull out. If it's flat, or no. If it's sharp, pull in. If it's flat, pull out. There we go. And don't mess with that because that's for tone and my tone's gonna suck if I don't find it up. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you heard some of this.